Christian Science is a 1907 book by the American writer Mark Twain The book is a collection of essays Twain wrote about Christian science, beginning with an article that was published in Cosmopolitan in 1899. Although Twain was interested in mental healing and the ideas behind Christian science, he was hostile towards its founder, Mary Baker Eddy Topic Background Twain's first article about Christian science was published in Cosmopolitan in 1899. A humorous work of fiction, it describes how he fell over a cliff while walking in Austria, breaking several bones. A Christian science practitioner who lived nearby was sent for, but could not attend immediately and so undertook to provide an absent healing. She sent a message asking Twain to wait overnight and to remember that there was nothing wrong with him. I thought there must be some mistake. Did you tell her I walked off a cliff 75 feet high? Yes. And struck a boulder at the bottom and bounced? Yes. And struck another one and bounced again? Yes and struck another one and bounced yet again. Yes. And broke the boulders. Yes. That accounts for it, she is thinking of the boulders. Why didn't you tell her I got hurt, too? In the third chapter of this story as published in the book form described below, Twain estimates more than 120 fractures, some or many of which were visible to him, as well as seven dislocated joints, including his hips, shoulders, knees and neck. All of these were healed within three hours of the "'Christian Science Doctors' visit of the second day of the story. Immediately following this healing, he turns to the local country horse doctor to cure a headache and stomach ache. In 1907 he collected this and several other critical articles he had written and published them as a book, Christian Science. Twain himself believed that mind could influence matter to some degree. He nevertheless took strong exception to the writings of Eddy, calling them, "...incomprehensible and uninterpretable." He was particularly incensed by the thought that Eddie was using Christian science to accrue wealth and power for herself. Topic: Critical responses. Gillian Gill, a biographer of Mary Baker Eddy, has argued that Twain was ambivalent towards Christian science and that passages of the essay were in fact pretty unambiguously pro-CS." In response Caroline Fraser writes that Gill has misread the text, and that Twain praised Christian science, "...in the most backhanded and ironic way." Fraser writes that whatever Twain's view of Christian science, his view of Eddie herself was overwhelmingly hostile. He called her g rasping, sordid, penurious, famishing for everything she sees—money, power, glory, vain, untruthful, jealous, despotic, arrogant, insolent, pitiless where thinkers and hypnotists are concerned, illiterate, shallow, incapable of reasoning outside of commercial lines, immeasurably selfish. See also The Life of Mary Baker G. Eddy and the History of Christian Science 1909. Notes Further reading Christian Science at Project Gutenberg British Medical Journal Mark Twain on Christian Science. 2, 2025, October 21, 1899.